Question. What are the Islamic requirements for a marriage contract to be valid? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak wa nabina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. The scholars have mentioned roughly five conditions for the validity of the marriage ceremony in Islam. The first condition is explicit identification of the spouses being joined in marriage. That is that they should be named and not referred to as my son, my daughter, your daughter. No, they have to be specifically named so there can be no doubt who is marrying whom. The second condition that they mention is willful consent of the groom, if legally responsible, what we call mukallaf, and the bride, if she has previously been married and is legally responsible, mukallafa. And this is bil ijma, that there has to be consent from both the from both the bride and the groom for the marriage to be valid. Number three, the presence of the bride's legal guardian, wali. As the, because of the based upon the pro, based upon the hadith collected by Ahmad Abu Dawood at Tirmidhi ibn Majah on the authority of Musa, in which the Prophet ﷺ said, La nikaha illa bi wali. There is no marriage without a legal guardian. The fourth condition is the presence of two credible male, legally responsible Muslim witnesses, capable of hearing the proceedings and providing oral testimony if required. And this is also agreed upon by the jurists, irrespective of their madahib. All of the scholars, the jurists of the four schools of Islamic thought, and even those who are not necessarily members of a particular madhab are in agreement that the presence of two credible witnesses is a shart, is a prerequisite of the validity or prerequisite for the validity of the marriage contract or the marriage ceremony. Last but not least, uh, from the conditions is the bride and groom must be free of any factors that would prohibit their union. So for example, they cannot be related, related by blood or by breastfeeding. Also the groom cannot have a different religion than his Muslim bride. So a Muslim woman cannot, for example, marry a non-Muslim man, even if he were a Jew or a Christian. So if any one of those factors which prohibits a union is present, that union would be invalid. And so one of the conditions, therefore, of validity is that those factors that would prohibit the union be non-existent. And Allah knows best. Hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barakan Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Edge